let's discuss LCM and HCF today. What is LCM? LCM is nothing but lowest common multiple of how many numbers? Two numbers, three numbers, maybe more. So let's take an example of three numbers. The three numbers are 24, 36 and 54. Now there are two methods of doing it. One is the factorization method, the other is the division method. Let's take the factorization method. Breaking 24, 36 and 54 into prime numbers or prime factors. So 24, if you break it down, it is nothing but 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 1. 36 is nothing but 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 2. Let's take the last number, 54. This is nothing but 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 3. So if you look at, there are two factors, 2 and 3. So 2 to the power 3 in first case, 2 in the second case, 1 in the third case. The highest across them is 2 to the power 3. So we take that number. Let's take it 3. So 3 to the power 1, 3 to the power 2 and 3 to the power 3. So highest is 3 to the power 3. So let's take 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 3 which is 8 into 27 which is 216. Now this is the LCM. The second part is the HCF. What is HCF? Highest common factor or greatest common divisor. It is also known as GCD, greatest common divisor. So the largest number which divides all of them without leaving a remainder is called the HCF. Let's look at the largest number. In the first case, it is 2 to the power 3. Second is 2 to the power 2. And third is 2 to the power 1. Now, in we see that 2 to the power 1 can divide each one of them. Whereas 2 to the power 2 cannot. So, the lowest power which is available across can divide them. So, lowest for 2 is 2 to the power 1. And lowest for 3 is also 3 to the power 1. So, 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 1 is 6 which is the HCF in this case. So, this is how we do the factorization method. Let's look at some difficult or trickier parts. How do we find the LCM or HCF of a fraction? Let's take similar numbers. So, 24 upon 49 and 36 upon 7. So, we have to find out the LCM and HCF of both the numbers. Now, if suppose we are asked LCM, then what we need to do is find the LCM of the numerators and for the denominators do the opposite which is HCF. So LCM of the numerators and HCF of the denominators. So what do we do here? LCM of the numerators which is 24 and 36. So 24 is nothing but 8 into 3 and 36 is 9 into 4. So the LCM is 72. Whereas the HCF of 49 and 7 is 7 because one is 7 to the power 2 and one other is 7 to the power 1. So it is 72 by 7 is the LCM of 72 by 7. The HCF. Now what do we find the HCF of the same pair of fractions? The HCF has to be done for the numerators and the LCM has to be done for the denominators. So HCF of the numerators here again is 24, 36, the HCF is 12 and the LCM of the denominators of 49 and 7 is 49. So the answer is 12 upon 49. Now the point to note here is this is also applicable for decimal numbers. Now, when I say decimal numbers, it is not just 2 by 5, it is 0.4. So, if I have to find the LCM of 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0.8, I can't do that simply. I have to convert them into fractions and then do it. Same for HCF. So, any number which has a point and numbers after it has to be converted into a fraction and then the HCM, HCF and LCM has to be found out. Let's look at some properties of these. So, if there are two numbers n1 and n2, then the HCF and LCM of the two numbers, the product of the HCF and LCM will be same as the product of the two numbers. So n1 into n2 will be equal to LCM into HCF of those two numbers. Whereas, let's look at the second property. The HCF will always be a factor of the LCM of any set of numbers. So HCF is a fraction or factor of LCM everywhere. However, on a generalized format, there is a problem here. This rule of n1 into n2 is not applicable for more than two numbers. For more than two numbers, it becomes complicated. So kindly do not try doing it. Let's try examples. Let's have a question. Okay. Three bells ring at an interval of four, five and six seconds. If they have just struck together, when will they strike again? Together. How do we do it? So four, five, six seconds. So one of them strikes after four, eight, 12, 16 and so on. The other one strikes after 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds and the third one after 6, 12, 18, 24 seconds. 
So how do we do? Let's see if the LCM solves the purpose. Mm -hmm. Will be clearly the LCM of the three intervals. So LCM of 4, 5 and 6 which is 60 will be the time or the 60 seconds after which they will strike together again. Let's take another example. LCM of two numbers is 495 and their HCF is 9. If the sum of the numbers is 144, what is the difference of the numbers? Now here we are not given the numbers. We are given the LCM, HCF, the sum of the numbers. So we'll have to try and form some equation to get out of it. How do we assume the numbers here? So we can also assume the numbers as n1 and n2. Other way is we know that their HCF is 9. So they have to be a multiple of 9. So let's assume that one of the numbers is 9x and the other is 9y. So the sum of the two numbers which is 9x plus 9y is 144. And 9x into 9y is 9 into 495. So we have two equations xy equals 55 now and x plus y is nothing but 16. We can go ahead and solve this question by using the quadratic equations. But let's try something else. We know that sum of 16 can be broken into 1 and 15, 2 and 14, 3 and 13 and so on. So there are a total of 8 pairs possible. In order to solve this, let's understand co-prime. What are co-prime numbers? A pair of numbers whose HCF is 1 is called a co-prime number. Now in this case, the pair of numbers, if the HCF of these two numbers is not 1, then the HCF which we have assumed is 9 will change. So here we can only take the pairs which are a co-prime. So here it will be only 1, 15, 3, 13, 5, 11 and 7, 9. Now which of these is solving the other equation which is x into y is 55. We see that 11 and 5 are only able to solve this. Hence the two numbers are 11 into 9 and 5 into 9. So it is 99 and 45. But we are asked the difference of the two numbers. So the difference of the two numbers is 54. Let's take another example. The least number which when divided by 9, 12, 16 and 30 will leave a remainder 3. How do we find this? The number can be written as 9x plus 3, 12y plus 3, 16z plus 3 and 30m plus 3. So we see that if we remove the plus 3 part, it has to be an LCM of these 4 numbers. So LCM of 9, 12, 16, 30 which is nothing but 720 is the number. And if we add 3, it will give the number which is asked in the question, which is 723. Let's take another case. Find the greatest number that will divide 43, 91 and 183 so that they leave the same remainder in each case. Now we don't know the numbers. We just know that they leave the same remainder. What is the remainder? We don't know. So can we look at it the other way? If we find the difference of these three set of numbers, it will give us a product of the number or a multiple of that number which is dividing. So let's take the first case, 43 and 91. The difference is 48. In the second case, the difference is 92. So 48 and 92 are exactly divisible by the number in consideration here. So what is the HCF of 48 and 92? The HCF is 4. So that gives us the answer. 4 is the number which divides 43, 91 and 183 to leave the same remainder. Let's take another example. Three numbers are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5 and their LCM is 2400. What is their HCF? Now here we don't know the numbers but all we know is the ratio of the numbers. So let's assume the numbers to be 3H, 4H and 5H. What will be the LCM? How do we calculate it? If we look at closely the three numbers 3H, 4H and 5H, 3, 4, 5 are co-prime. This comes to the fact that 3 into 4 into 5 into H should be the LCM in this case. So if we go by that, H comes out to be 40. Now this is the HCF of the three numbers. That is where we get it. Remember one thing, the concept that we learnt earlier that product of two numbers is equal to HCF into LCM does not hold true for more than two numbers. So avoid using that. Here, now we have understood that HCF and LCM are simple in terms of topics but help us solve a lot of tricky problems.